So this morning I was looking at uh, eBay, of all places, some auction triggered or something, and uh, an ASPCA ad popped up, and it was this skinny, broken-down old dog, and they were asking me for $19 a month to feed this dog. And I was like, huh. And so I, I did a little bit of looking around, and I was like, well, if they're everywhere asking everybody for $19 and $25 a month with these skinny dog pictures, how are they doing financially? So I go over to uh, uh, Google, and I ask them, you know, what's the ASPACA, ASPACA's financial position? And they're doing really well. Um, and it turns out that they don't, like, they don't even, like, rescue and take care of animals. They're, it's just amazing. It, it was, and I, I mean, it's what, two hours later, and I, I found myself uh, dropping into charitywatch.org and uh, activists, some kind of activist thing uh, where they're talking about um, the budgets and what these places do and all that other stuff. And it's not to say that ASPCA isn't a worthwhile organization. If your ultimate goal is to get mankind to stop messing with animals, like quit having animals and being being nicer to them and all that. But it uh, turns out that if you did the math on how many dollars they spend, if they actually spent what they take in on animals, the uh, less than 10,000 adoptions that they had anything to do with one year. Um, in fact, it was more like 4,000 adoptions they did one year, which is crazy. Uh, the math on that was $34,000 per dog adoptions. But that's not fair because you're taking all of the money that they spend on administrative fees, which is literally 36% of the money that you donate goes to salaries and operating costs. Earn them a C-plus rating with the charity watch. And then uh, if you look at their financials, they've got, uh, 200 and something million dollars in uh, investments and assets, uh, mutual funds mostly. And there's nothing wrong with that. Please don't misunderstand. If I had a charity or I was running an organization like that and I had a surplus, I would be socking it away into mutual funds too, especially if I was tax exempt, so that I could sustain myself through lean periods down the road, especially if I had legitimate work to do. So I get that. But, uh, you know, the scrawny dog picture makes you think that by donating to them, they're actually going to find a home for or feed the scrawny dog. And the amazing thing I found out was that the ASPCA is not in any way affiliated with the SPCA, but they're going to let you believe that. So your local Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals uh, gets nothing from, is not supported by, organized by, regulated by, helped by the American uh, Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. So these $20 a month ads that you're looking at uh, don't really feed an animal or even get one uh, adopted. So here's the thing. If you stop donating to the ASPCA and you sent the same check down to your local SPCA, you would be putting money directly into the mouths and bedding of a dog or cat. When you stop donating to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, the ASPCA, all that will happen is that education on the evils of man's use of animals will disappear. And I won't really feel that because I'm just not really in an area where we're but you'll also see uh, no more ads from the ASPCA because it turns out that their primary thrust is fundraising. So relative to, and the, you know, as far as the impact on the animals is concerned, like legitimately feeding and rescuing and placing and, and all of that, um, not much difference, honestly. Uh, it could be argued that some of the very small county-wide organizations are doing as much as far as physically improving 
a lot of a puppy or a dog. Sorry about the recording there. I put everything I'm saying in a lot of the supporting documentation and all that that I dug up on my website. If you go to drjohnson.com slash ASPCA, you'll be able to download everything I'm talking about so that it doesn't sound like it's just coming out the side of my neck. So here's what I thought. I thought that the ASPCA was like a parent organization for all the local SPCAs. I thought if I donated to the ASPCA, it would be a way of donating to the SPCA in such a way that they could figure out where the SPCA needed the money the most. It just made sense to me. But it turns out that the ASPCA doesn't have anything to do with the SPCA. So when you donate to the ASPCA, you're just supporting a fundraising organization. I was surprised. And I was surprised to find that the uh, compensation for the CEO of the ASPCA as long as six years ago was uh, over half a million. Yeah, that's what that guy makes. And I don't I think it's great. I mean, maybe you're making over a half a million a year. That would be terrific. Good for you, flying an airplane or uh, being a fireman or doing a job um, that isn't a charity supported by donations. Um, so I guess what I'm getting at, basically, is if you want your dollar to actually go for food and bedding uh, of a dog or a cat and make a material difference somewhere near you, you probably should be donating locally. Um, time and money, and uh, if you are um, okay with seeing less ads asking you for money so that they can produce more ads asking you for money, then your donations to the ASPCA might be uh, not as important as another organization. So later this morning, my next uh, goal is going to be to jump on and find out, well, if you want to help animals, who do you donate to? Like, who's really in the trenches funding these adoptions and, and all of that. And I'm not talking about companies making tons of money doing that. Like, of course, if I owned a giant coast-to-coast -coast pet store, hosting a, a rescue there every weekend would be amazing because people come in and buy their dog food from you while they're adopting a dog. I get that. I'm talking about the people out there that are getting dirty housing animals in foster homes and not... Uh, working with a uh, tax deduction from a giant um, franchise. I'll be looking that stuff up and uh, probably put an article on my website about, you know, if you really want to spend money with a with a, a animal charity that actually helps animals, I will, uh, I'll post that. Anyway, sorry for the, I guess it's a little salty this morning, but I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. 